Hey guys, this is Soumya from Bookface channel. Today in this video, we are going to see on the topic the river, which is written by Caroline Ann Bowles. So before getting into the video, I just want to tell you, I have posted the particular content in Tamil also. If you are in need of that, please do refer the description for the link, and please do share and subscribe our channel to get further more updates. We'll go with the writer's introduction. So the writer seems to be Caroline. Well, uh, she was born in the year seventeen eighty six, and she was passed away in the year eighteen fifty four. She was an English poet, and she was the wife of Robert Southey, the poet laureate of Britain. She was a poet of great merit and produced some of the best works at the threshold of the Victorian era. She wrote various other works, including the Little Lady Bird, Chapter on Churchyard, and the Tales of the Factories. So, before getting into the video. We just want to remember some of the points that adds more meaning to the poem. So first one seems to be philosophical poem. How come the poem is called as a philosophical poem? Because it talks about the philosophy. And second, it compares river to the innocent child at play, later to the youth, and later to the mortal prime, and later to the eternity. And third, epithet, imagery, rhyme scheme, alliteration, simile, anaphora, and repetition. So these are the poetic devices that are seen in this poem. So to get the clear understanding of the poetic devices, we have posted a video on poetic devices in our channel. So I have uh, shared the link in the description. Please do refer that, and please uh, do watch. I hope it will be really benefited for you. And epithet. So when you add more meaning to the noun, when you qualify the noun, it is known as epithet. Here the noun is the river, where the river takes up the adjectives little, swelling, brimming, and headlong. And imagery. So what is imagery? Image. When you read something, automatically your mind comes up with the image of what you read. If so, that is imagery. Here you can see the imageries: yellow pebbles dash into the sea, rose banks brawling, leaping, dancing. We'll get into the video. Stanza one: River, river, little river, bright you sparkle on your ways. Over the yellow pebble dancing, through flowers and foliage glancing like a child at play. So river, river, the river is very little, and here the poet starts with the exclamation: River, river, little river. Bright you sparkle on your way. So when you go through, you start sparkling because of the sunlight over the yellow pebbles dancing. So where does you go by crossing over the yellow pebbles and you go dancing through the flowers and foliage glancing. So foliage is a cluster of leaves, flowers and branches. Whereas glancing is touching something or touching someone without hurting or damaging them. So you go through the flowers and the branches, leaves by touching them, like a little child at the play. Half come a little child play like that. You move by using your obstacles. River, river, swelling river. On you rush through rough and smooth, louder, faster, brawling, leaping, leaping over rocks by rose banks, sweeping like impetuous youth. So river, river, swelling river. So again, the river is given the adjective swelling. On you rush through rough and smooth. You rush through the way that is or even smooth and also rough. Louder, half you go. The way of the rivers moving is described here. It goes louder, faster, brawling and leaping. So it is crossing over the rocks by rose banks. So rose banks refers to. River banks where roses, flowers appear along. So rose banks. You sweep. You wash out the flowers and roses in the rose bank, like impetuous youth. So impetuous is something when you act quickly without thinking of the consequence to be faced. So you may imagine of the youth. How the youth will be? He'll make everything just in a glance. So likewise, you move by taking or uh, by washing away the flowers. River, river, brimming river, broad and deep and still as time, seeming still yet still in motion, tending onward to the ocean, just like mortal prime. So here, 
still as like refers to simile because the simile is basically comparing two unmatched things using the words as like and so here river is given the adjective brimming where the river is very broad and it is very deep and it is like a time the time keeps on moving but to the vision it seems to be motionless likewise the river keeps on moving but to the vision it sees motionless seeing still yet still in motion seeming still so still you are moving and still you are in motion tending onward towards the, to the ocean so the river is moving towards the ocean just like mortal prime how come the mortal prime grow move likewise you are moving final stanza river river headlong river down you dash into the sea see that life had never sounded see that sail had never rounded like eternity from the starting to the end of the stanza the poet starts with the exclamation and he keeps on giving adjective that is epithet so a headlong river here the adjective is headlong river down you dash into the sea so you rush forward you rush down to reach the sea see that line hath never sounded so you can't measure the depth of the sea see that sail hath never rounded so the ship there may not be even a single ship to say that it has came round all over the sea it is not possible so again and again see see stresses the concept about river but the river is not repeatedly given here only the c is given a in the beginning so it is anaphora like eternity so the c here can be compared to eternity where the river reaches the c so c is eternity which means the c is eternity the river also will be the eternity will be eternity that is because it reaches the c so here i conclude my video if you want this particular post to be in tamil also we have posted in the uh, link in the description please do refer that please do subscribe our channel if you are in need of any works please do mention it in the comment section shall we make it for you thank you